updates from the solar energy domain in the month of February in 2023. For starters, the ALMM will be relaxed for two years as per R.K. Singh, the energy minister. India's 10 gigawatt solar manufacturing capacity is definitely not enough to cater to the 70 gigawatt of project capacity that it has in its current pipeline. The exemption will help safeguard the nation's target of creating 280 gigawatt of solar capacity by the year 2030. Rajasthan has targeted 11 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity in the state budget of 23 to 24. The budget proposes a reduction of electricity duty on solar from 60 paise to 40 paise per unit. Solar projects will get a 100% exemption for, for land tax for the next 7 years and a 100% banking of the energy is to be allowed with no restriction for withdrawals during peak hours for captive solar plants. Number 3. Nearly 50% of India's planned solar manufacturing capacity is to be set in Gujarat, according to a Mercom report. Gujarat dominates India's solar module production with a 53% share. By 2025, the state is projected to add another 25 gigawatt of PV manufacturing capacity. Flavorable industry policies and low electricity tariffs are cited as the key reasons for the growth in this particular region. Number 4. The center identifies 9 solar parks with over 7 gigawatt of capacity in Rajasthan. Number 5. Chandigarh is to set up 3 solar plants with robotic cleaning facilities over MRF buildings. Number 6. The PM Kusum scheme has been extended till the March of 2026. Number 7. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation about how the new budget will accelerate the green growth in India. Number 8. The India Energy Week has been successfully concluded in Bangalore and is a part of our country's G20 celebrations. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Till then, do like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such updates.